This is the day we've been waiting for for a long time. We're pulling back for a rest, and we deserve it. They really put us through the ringer. Like on the road to Gavray. called Viray. I forget the name of the last one, but it was the last, for a while anyway. Like I say, this is the day we've been waiting for for a long time. Hey, you guys are going in the wrong direction. The war went that away. No kidding. We're pulling in for a rest. We're going Avaranches. <laughs> Avaranches. <laughs> oh, man, what a town to have a rest. Big USO, Red Cross donuts all over the place, movies every night, women. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you'll just love Avaranches. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Well, Sergeant, here we are in Avranche. Combat. A Selmer production. Another one? No, thanks. That's okay. Tomorrow you pour. Hey, Little John. Yeah. Have you seen Kelly yet? No. You know that character. He must have gotten a football and sold it. Yeah. A what? A football. You blow it up and you pass it. Pike, you know? One, two, football. Kelly. Do you have a requisition for a football? That's a good question, Sarge. That's a real... I'm glad you asked that question. You have a requisition? Look, Sarge, we've been in combat like three months. We came here this morning to this rest area, and we're supposed to rest. Where's your requisition? The whole idea is to get some relaxation. Fun and games, football and baseball. No requisition, no football. You have no heart, Sergeant. We're gonna be here maybe two, three days, that's all. Then back to the front lines. I might get killed the first day. Now you're talking, Kelly. 
Do you know what you just said to Kelly? What I said was, Kelly, uh, do you have a requisition for a football, or don't you have a requisition Certainly. for a... Why didn't you give me this in the first place? Because it's too easy! Kelly? Kelly? Hi, Sarge. Um, that, that tall guy at the end, that blonde guy, at, is that Del Packer? Yeah, that's Packer. Hey, I hate to bother you, but could you tell me what outfit he's going to? Cake company. Cake? Hey, well, hey, that's my outfit! Poor guy. All right, fellas, let's go. You're doing good, Doc. Hang in there. Add a boy, Billy. Work on the arm. Hey, now, what are you guys sitting around here for? Get out there and practice. Hey, the football. Where's the football? Hey, Doc, Billy, and a double. Come on over here. Hey, Kelly, what's the matter with you? Sound stroke or something? I just been over to L Company, and I talked them into playing baseball with us tomorrow. Their company against ours. So? So? I got 100 bucks bet on the game. Hey, Kelly, where did you ever get 100 bucks? Well, I got 20 bucks, but I figured you guys are going for 10 bucks a piece. Hey, Kelly, where's the football? It's a sure thing. Billy, if you had your choice of anybody in the world to join our outfit, who would it be? Rita Hayworth. No, even better. You mean better than Rita Hayworth? Billy, who's the best pitcher in organized baseball today? Del Packer with a lifetime earn run average of 2.04. Led both leagues in strikeouts and shutouts in 38, 39, 40, 41. But he's not playing ball anymore. He got drafted. He's joining us? <laughs> He's not going to L Company. I saw the orders. Okay, 10 bucks a piece. Five 20 game winning seasons out of the last six. You can't do better than that. And he'll be pitching for us. Now, what do you say? I say you ought to be on the stage, Kelly. You can't con me out of 10 bucks that easy. I'll check with you non believers later. Am I in the right place? This, uh, this company K? Sure is, Mr. Packer. Here, let me grab this stuff for you. Thanks, I can do it. And wear down that arm of yours? Nothing doing. Right this way. Hey, Sarge. Hey. Hey, Sergeant. What do you think of my new replacement? Can't you carry your own gear, soldier? Sarge, don't you know who he is? Yeah, I know who he is. So you pitch your first no-hitter. You his new manager now, Kelly? Oh, uh... <laughs> you know. Oh, well, Kelly cooked up a ball game tomorrow with Company L. <laughs> yeah, you know, just a friendly little game. And now you're helping him save his arm. Is that the idea? Do yourself a favor, Packer. Carry your own gear. He only wanted to help me out, Sergeant. Well, so do I. We'll be in combat in a few days. You better get used to taking care of yourself. Whatever you say. You reporting yet? No. Uh, leave your gear here. Doc, take him over to company CP. Backer. Nice to have you with us. This way, Del. Now, there goes a great guy, Sarge. A great guy. Do you know how much he made last year for tossing that old horse hide? 40,000 bucks. Well, he's not making it now. He's making 50 bucks a month, just like the rest of you. So stop falling all over him, or he might forget it. Sergeant, you have something against him? Just want to keep him alive. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Fifty, seventy-five, eighty-five, ninety-five. Little John. Yeah. 
You got a nickel? A nickel? Five cents. Can I borrow it? Borrow it? What for? Well, I need it to give to Kelly. Kelly? Yeah, well, you see, I'm going in for ten bucks on the ball game with Company L. It's a sure thing, because Kelly's going to use psychology to get Del Packer to pitch for us. Like the time he used psychology on the squad? Had us all chip in to buy our own tank? Well, if he couldn't help it because that, that mechanized fella backed out of the deal and ran off with all the money. That mechanized fella didn't back out of the deal, Billy. He split with Kelly. They had a plan all along. I told you then, and I'll tell you now. Kelly is not to be trusted, especially with my money. All I asked for was a nickel. You gonna give it to me or not? There. But don't say I didn't warn you. Hey, Dell. Uh, how'd it go? Oh, fine. I uh, signed the hotel register. The CEO said welcome, and my man. Well, what what squad are you signed to? This one. This one. Hey, that's great. You know, you're the first celebrity we've ever had in this outfit. And if there's anything we can do for you, let us know. Go on, Dell. Tell him. No, oh, you can uh, let me pitch for you. Hey, you really mean it? I mean. I mean, we were afraid you wouldn't want to. Well, why not? The uh, more I keep the arm in shape, the better I like it. It's <laughs> my meal ticket. <laughs> I'll come right this way. I've got a place picked out for you. Best spot in the hotel. Thanks. What did I tell you? Now we got a spy for Company L, huh? All right, let's see if you grab some wind here, Kate. Right. right. Kate's next battle, let's see what you can do, Billy. Hey, uh, Stanley, where you going, Stanley? Stick around and see a real pitcher. If I stuck around, Kelly, it'd only be long enough to break your neck. Nothing. I was just thinking, if, uh, if Billy ever got a hit off you, he'd never forget it. I'll do my best. <laughs> I was just telling him an easy way to strike you out. Oh, yeah. Put it in there. Put it in there, Oh, now, Hey, Billy, baby! I hit it! Well, I'll say you hit it. That'd be a home run in any park in the league. I must be losing my touch.
They're going. Fidel, you, you okay? Yeah, I'm... Medic! Medic! Uh-oh, somebody got hit. It's Jones. Stand back, give him room. How is he, Doc? I don't know, sir. It's his arm. Today, Jones, he sure is lucky. Lucky? Yeah. I heard Doc say that he got hit just bad enough to get a one-way ticket home. The same thing happened to Charlie Price the day we hit the beach. Who? Uh, Charlie Price. We, we came from the same town. We joined the Army together. He got shot? Right in the canteen. They were picking tin splinters out of his rear area for two weeks. He got sent home a hero. <laughs> Good old Charlie. You, you had to know him to appreciate him. He was... He was a terrible soldier. Terrible. Like you. Worse. I had to lace his leggings every day of basic training. And, and when he tried and break down his, his M1, he could never get it back together again. <laughs> he kept losing parts, like little springs and things. And he went home a hero. He, he wrote me how it was. He said that, that he'd never have to pay for a drink in a bar, and, and the girls were always falling all over him, and, and how he'd, he'd walk down the street and everybody would look at him, and, and every once in a while he'd, he'd, he'd put on a limp to show off. It sure makes you think. It does? Yeah. What about? Well, about, about figuring out a way to get out of this man's army, going home. Well, wouldn't you like a Purple Heart and a ticket stateside? No, neither would you, Billy. I wouldn't? Nope. Why? Look, I haven't been sleeping, eating, and walking alongside you day in and night out for the last two months without getting to know something about you. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, it means that you wouldn't leave this outfit for anything in the world. Why? Because you like being a soldier, Billy. I do? You wouldn't be happy anywhere else. I wouldn't? Nope. I never knew that. Now go to sleep. <sighs> well, John? Yeah? Night. Night.
Trouble sleeping, huh? Yeah. Those strange beds, they do that to you. That's a feather bed. You wait till next week. Is Ron bothering you? No, it's just a habit. How long before we go in the front lines? Oh, that's hard to say. We're on a 12-hour alert now. I don't know, it could be any time. Two days, three days, maybe even a week. A week. You know, Pac, I've been doing some checking. And you, you made expert on rifle, expert on carbine, even expert on VAR. You got a lot going for you. You got a lot going for you. That's what my old man used to say to me. Son, you've got a lot going for you. When I was in high school, I could throw a ball harder and straighter than anyone in the state. All I needed was a little experience, they said, like oh, four years with a Class C team in Toronto, two in double-A ball. First year up, they knocked me around real good. I went back to the minors in 35, and I stayed till 37. Well, that's a long way up. It's a long way down. My old man's got one leg, World War One. You know Billy and His father got it six months ago. Traffic accident in St. Louis. Million dollar arm, isn't that what they call it? Yeah, that's what they call it. You know how Billy's father got killed? Jumped over a mud puddle and right in front of a car. He's wearing a brand new pair of shoes. Didn't want to get him dirty. Good night, Becker. Oh, uh, by the way, Battalion S4 ran into a group of crowd stragglers on the supply run to Vayette. It happened this afternoon. So we're gonna pull God on the next run. 0800 in the morning. I'm putting you on it. You, me, Billy, Kelly. Might as well start earning your money. Good night, Becker. <laughs> Depot for repairs. How do you like that? Running guard for a bunch of old broken down guns. Remind me to, to get to my war bond allotment. How's the alarm, Dale? Fine. Hope we get back in time for the game. We'll be back in time. I uh, I wrote my kid brother last night. Told him you were with us. Why does anyone think the Germans might attack this truck, Sergeant? Food transportation, maybe. Any crowds in this area are probably stragglers trying to get back to their own lines. They don't know what we have. Hey, Dell, I was wondering, uh, after the game, could you could you autograph a ball for me? I mean, for my my brother, he'd get a kick out of it. I mean, to, to prove I, I really know you. Yeah, sure, I'd be glad to do it, Billy. Hey, that'd be great. Stay on my tail. Gehen Sie um die Ecke dort, wir werden Sie decken. Seid ihr fest, das sind Geschichten.
Sergeant. He's gonna flank Billy and Kelly. I won't have a chance. I'm gonna rush him. Keep their heads down. Now, when I go, you double back as fast as you can move. And you get that crowd before he reaches him. Okay, back. Now. Hey, Sarge. You dead? We will be if we don't get him out of here. came around the corner, we didn't have a chance. We didn't see him until he's right on top of us. Packer knows all about it. I, I tried, Sarge. Can you handle that truck, Packer? Yeah. We'll turn it around. Sarge, I, I tried. I gave you an order, soldier! And this time you better move! Go in now? Yes, but just for a few minutes. Uh, how is he? I'm sure he'll be all right. Please follow me. Right in here. the Sarge. Get a report in. He'll be by in a little while. Hi, Del. Hi. That'll be something, won't it? Oh, what's that, Bill? When I write my kid brother, I mean, when I write him and tell him the first person came to see me at the hospital was Del Packer, he'll flip. Maybe you won't have to write him. Maybe you'll be able to tell him in person. Maybe. Billy, I think we better go. Give you time to rest up. What do you say, Del? Yeah, sure. Now, wait a minute. Del? Yeah. Could you do me a favor? Uh... My mother's gonna worry, and my kid brother, when they find out I'm in the hospital and all. And I, I was wondering if you could write him a letter. I mean, uh, a letter from Del Packer to cheer him up. And, 
hand the ball, the one we talked about with the autograph on it, if, if you could send that to the kid. Sure. I, I know it's asking a lot. It's okay, Billy, I'll do it. Thanks. You're a pal. A real pal. All right, Sergeant, let's have it. What happened? I told you, Lieutenant. Not all of it. It was Packer, wasn't it? Yes, sir. We started to flank the crowds. I saw one of them crossing over to Billy and Kelly. I knew that if he came in on their blind side, they wouldn't have a chance, so... I sent Packer back to cut him off. He never made it. Why? He froze. Couldn't move. It was my fault, Lieutenant. They should have never... Sergeant, you told me something a long time ago. Something that's gotten me through a lot of rough spots. You said we can teach a man to learn how to stay alive. Fire a rifle and dig a hole, but we can't hold his hand forever. We tell a man to do something, we expect it done. He wasn't ready. He was as ready as any of the others we asked to go out and die. How are we supposed to know how a man's going to react his first time under fire? We can't look in his soul. We can only look at his service record. It's all we've got to go by. I should have known. You gave a man an order. He didn't follow it. It's as simple as that. It's simple. Billy may die, Lieutenant. A lot of others may die before this stinking mess is over. It's going to be a long war, Sergeant. We can't go around feeling guilty. Not if we expect to be of any use to ourselves or anybody else. Yes, sir. Sergeant. Yes, Lieutenant. We're going to be moving out tonight. I want all requisitions filled before we go. Lieutenant, you wanted to see me? Yes, Packer. We got orders down for battalion. We're moving up to the line at 2,100 hours. Yes, sir. I also got some orders on you. They didn't get to division till last night. Company got them this morning. There's been a request from GHQ in London that you're to be moved to special services in that city effective immediately. It's a nice soft job, Packer. Division CO says he'll get the orders revoked. If you want to stay, it's up to you. You mean, sir, I have a choice of going to London or staying here with the squad? Not here, Packer. On the line. And we're going to need every man we can get. Which is it? London, sir. All right, get your gear together. A jeep will pick you up in the bivouac area, take you to replacement center. You stay there overnight, fly to London in the morning. That'll be all, Packer. Yes, sir. That's what I came with. Jeep will be here in a couple of minutes. All right, Sarge, let's have it. You think I'm a coward, don't you? I didn't say that, did I, Packer? You don't have to. And we can save ourselves a lot of talking, can we? Sergeant. What do you want, Packer? What do you want me to say? That you ought to stay with the squad, go up to the line, and maybe, maybe get yourself killed instead of pulling off a London? Is that what you want? What would you do? Nobody asked me. I don't have the choice. Sergeant, I tried. So help me, I did. 
Uh, I, I wanted to get that German, but I... I, I couldn't move. I, I just couldn't move. What do you want from me? A commendation? No. No, I want you to know what happened. I saw what happened, Packer. You froze. You were so, so scared about that million-dollar arm, it would have taken an ice pick to get you out. Okay, so I'm not a hero. I, I never said I was. But I'm not a coward, either. You don't know what it's been like, that, that nightmare, that same dream ever since I knew I was coming overseas. The arm gets shot up, they take me to a hospital. My right arm, they, they cut it off, my right arm. Then this morning out there in broad daylight, that, that same nightmare, well, I, I couldn't move, I just couldn't. And then poor Billy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am a coward. Yeah, maybe. That's your own private war pack, and nobody can answer that but you. You think I'm running away, don't you? Right now, you you think I'm running away. Everyone wants to stay alive, Packer. Everyone. There's, uh, there's hardly a guy in this whole outfit. Cage, Doc, Little John, Kelly, all of them. And, and they're good soldiers. There's hardly one of them grab the chance you've got. So what are you knocking yourself out for? Would you go? Like I told you before, nobody asked me. I don't have the choice. There's your jeep. Get going, Packer. Sarge, where's he going? London, special services. How come? Orders. Hey, Sarge, I heard a rumor. Are we really leaving this picnic ground? Yeah, within the hour. Get the others ready. Get going. Company K? Yeah. Kelly there? Hi, Sarge. Hey, got something for you. All requisitions filled. What do you expect me to do with this? Oh, you're a clever guy, Kelly. You'll think of something. Yeah. Tell your star baseball player to throw it at the Germans. He's on his way to London. Lucky guy. <laughs> Roger, out. Saunders. Yes, Lieutenant. You know that winery up ahead? S2 thinks it's a German observation post. We gotta get this stuff off of us. Pick yourself five men and take a look. Right. I'll go with you, Sergeant. Whatever to your transfer. Who wrote, sir? By whose orders? I requested it, sir. 
We can use him, Lieutenant. All right, he's yours, Sergeant. Take him with you. Follow me, Packer. Change your mind? I've got my own private war. I can't fight it out in London, can I? Cool French wine in that cellar. You're dreaming again, Kelly. Don't you know the German likes French wine too? You men, stay put. Packer, you stick with me. What are we gonna do? Walk in the front door? Yeah, something like that. There can't be more than three or four Germans in there if that's an observation post. We'll work our way to that wall first. Then the next one, then on in. I'll go first. When I reach that wall, you follow. And this time you see that you do it. All right. Get that gun up. Give me cover. Cover me. Him. Why don't they? They're using him to draw us out. You'll never reach him. Thank you. 